Good day, students. I hope you're staying safe. My name is Ian Achojo Chibweze. You're welcome to Golden Line School Online Physics Class. Now, our topic today for SS2 students will be refraction of lens. And our learning objectives are calculation on refraction of lens, and then we'll be looking at lens formula. All right, what is the lens formula? The lens formula is 1 all over f is equals to 1 all over v plus 1 all over u. Again, it is 1 all over f is equal to 1 all over v plus 1 all over u. Where your f stands for the focal length, your v stands for the image distance, and your u stands for the object distance. Alright, look at this diagram on the board. Now, if you look at the board, you have an object O, and then the distance between the objects and the lens is U, which is the object distance. So it can be any value. So if you are told that the distance between the object and the lens is 25 centimeter, you come here and say this is 25 centimeter. Now, why right here is the image distance? Alright, so it is the distance between the image, which is this dash line or dash arrow you're seeing here, and the lens. The distance between this dash line and the lens, or the distance between the image and the lens is what we call the image distance. It can be any value, alright? So that's for convex lens. Now, in the second diagram, we have a concave lens. Now, in this concave lens, now the, the lens, or we call this a diverging lens, alright? So if you look at this, you notice that the object is here while the image is also here. So just like I said in con convex lens, the concave lens, the U is the distance between the objects and the lens, Y is the distance between the image, which is this dash line, and the lens. Now, you should know that the convex lens, which is a converging lens, always produces a real image. So that is why the focal length is positive. Now, why the concave lens, which is a diverging lens, produces a virtual image? That is why the focal lens is negative. So if you are given the value of any focal lens for convex lens, okay, the value should be positive. Why for concave lens, the value should be negative. I know, I hope that will help you too in your calculation. Alright, for the second formula we're looking at is magnification. Magnification is simply equal to V all over U. Also, magnification is equal to image height all of our object height, alright? So since magnification is equal to V over U, and it's equal to H, capital letter H, which is the image height, all of our small letter H, which is the object height, so that means your magnification, M is equal to H, capital letter H, all of our small letter H, equals to capital uh, V all over U. Alright, I know this will be a bit confusing, but let's take a look at this. Now, on the board, let's say you have a concave lens, sorry, a convex lens, let's use a convex lens. I like using a convex lens because it produces a real image. And let's say this is an object and you are told that the distance between the object and the lens, that is the object distance, is 10 centimeter. all right? And let's say it produces an image, okay? And then the image, the distance between the image distance, that is the distance between the image. I'm going to use a dash line for my image, just like I use in the other diagrams. You are told that the distance between the image and the lens is 30 centimeter. Alright? So, and let's say the image height is equal to, that's the height of the object, sorry, the object height is equal to let's say 5 centimeter. Now the question is what should be the image height which is capital letter H. We don't know the image height. Now if you look at this you will notice that this question does not have focal length so we cannot use this formula. Alright? If you look at this again you will notice that we cannot use this magnification because in this formula it does not have image height all right so the formula we would use is this equation two that is here all right because this equation has all the parameters which is your u which is 10 centimeter that is object distance your h 
that is object height, which is 5 centimeter. All right? You are giving your V as 30 centimeter, and you don't know your capital letter H, which is your image height. It is unknown. So you say H all over H is equal to V all over U. So making H over the formula, you cross multiply, and then you have H. Um, this is U, please. H times U is equal to V times H. You divide this place by U, you divide it by U. So you're making the measurement of the formula. So from here, your H becomes equal to V times H all over U. So you start putting in all your parameters. So you have 30 V times 5 all over your U is 10 centimeters. So this we cancel this. So we have 3 times 15, which is 15 centimeters. So that means your H, that is image height, is equal to 15. Now, what does it mean? Now, this means that the image that you formed is bigger than what? The object. So, that is to tell you that this image is a magnified image. A magnified image is an image that is bigger than the object. Why a diminished image is an image that is smaller than the original object. So, therefore, to get the magnification, to get the magnification of this lens, so the magnification, I'm going to walk this side of the board. The magnification M becomes V all over U. Or you can use magnification M is equal to H all over H. Whichever one you use, you are going to get the same answer. Okay, let's see that. So this becomes equal to your V is equal to 30 all over your U, which is equal to 10. So if you do this, you have 3. Magnification does not have any units. Okay, if you use this other formula, capital letter H all over small letter H, that is image height all over object height. Now, if you notice from what we got, the image height is equal to 15 centimeter, okay? And the object height is equal to 5 centimeters. So if you do that, you are going to get also 3, all right? So that is the formula for magnification, and that is everything about lens formula. All right, I know you have some questions, and... Um, you need some things to be cleared on. Alright, I'm going to upload the notes on the Golden High School ISM portal. And if you have any questions, you can reach me out on the WhatsApp group. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the class. So do have a nice day. Bye-bye.